Trevor, I never want to try to guess your pitches, but uh, in that sixth inning, was that just a slider or something that just stayed up when Rizzo hit? Yeah, I threw him a good one the pitch before, got it below the zone. Um, I know that I can get him kind of crossing the barrel back foot. I was trying to go, you know, down and off in uh, with that pitch, and just it just hung up in the zone. Um, it's a it's a touchy game in there with him. If you leave it in the zone, it's a it's one of his power spots. Obviously, as you saw, um, if you get it off, there's some swing and miss there. I felt like I had really good command of my slider all night, so I, I tried to go in there. I just left it in the zone. So that one, I made a mistake. Um, the one before, he put up a really good at bat, and uh, I threw the exact pitch that I wanted to. I, that's the third changeup I've thrown all year. Uh, I don't think there's any way he could have been looking for it. And after a battle that, like he fouled off many, many pitches, I figured I'd throw one. I executed it, and uh, he, he, I get, he, he was just better on that pitch, I guess. That one, you just have to kind of chalk up to the ballpark because you you fooled him. He tried to stay back, and it looked like he hit it off the end of the bat and just was able to get out. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not I'm not mad about that when I executed the pitch. What what made it difficult for you to just get outs with two strikes, um, strikeouts with two strikes today? Uh, I mean, they're they're guys that a really good job of like barely nicking a lot of pitches. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that was. Um, they, they just, they put together really good at bats. They laid off some good pitches that generally I get swings on. And then they, they were able to, I mean, I can't, I can't count how many balls they kind of capped or like chopped right into the ground and just spoiled good pitches with two strikes. Um, you know, I felt like I, I made a lot of really good pitches, especially with two strikes. Uh, and they just, they just nicked them. I, you know, you got to tip your hat to them. They they put up good at bats all day long, and uh, you know they they beat me today. That second inning at bat is it just? You said you went to a changeup. Is it just kind of at that point try try everything? It seemed like you fouled off a lot of good pitches. Yeah, he, he fouled off a lot of good pitches. I felt like I executed everything that at bat. Um, you know, knowing that I haven't I haven't thrown a changeup. You know, I, I've thrown two changeups all year leading into that. I can't imagine it was on the scouting report. I, so, um, you know, he was just he was in swing mode. It seemed like he was, you know, fouling off a lot of good pitches, putting together a good at bat. I challenged him with some, some fastballs, some curveballs, cutters, uh, and so I, you know, I went to the changeup and I threw it right where I wanted to, just below the zone. I figured I'd get a weak out or a swing and miss on it, and you know, obviously, obviously didn't. Um, I think I fooled him, but you know, he, he's he's good at putting the barrel on the ball, and that's what he did, and it you know obviously floated out. Was it a little frustrating earlier when you had a potential double play ball, but the Stockers had to go cover second base when he was breaking, and it, you know went right where he wasn't anymore? That one that one wasn't frustrating. Um, you know, I got, I got behind in that bat as a three-two count, and that's just one of those things that like that happens in baseball. Um, you know, I, I was frustrated a little bit. I thought I had a double play ball uh, that inning to first base, and somehow it gets by, and then a, a run scores. I think if we, you know, if, if it's caught at first, maybe the run doesn't score. Uh, we get an out, maybe two. Um, who knows how the rest of that inning plays out? Would have saved me quite a few pitches uh, if we turn two there. I know that inning kind of extended a little bit. And there's the bloop with Kipnis, and then. All that, so you know, maybe that, maybe a couple less hitters there. Maybe I don't face Rizzo in the six. Maybe I get, you know, it's something like that. But um, you know, it's just it's, it's baseball. And things didn't go. You know, enough things went against me today that you know that they beat me. But I, I do have to emphasize that the, the Cubs were just good. They put up really good at bats today. So. Trevor, I, I know. <laughs> You know, it's, it's kind of funny when you talk about matchups, you don't face your Darvish, but is it more fun when the other guy on the other side is, is doing what he does and you're trying to match him? Yeah, it was, I was pumped for it. I was really excited when I saw the, the matchup, when I saw he was going game one and we get to match up, I was, I was pumped. I, I like you a lot. I, I study him. I've studied him a long time. Um, he's one of my favorite guys to watch. I feel like we have very similar arsenals and attack plans and stuff like that. So, uh, it's exciting matching up with him. I got him last year in our matchup. Um, he got me this year, so 
hopefully we get to do it again later in the year and we can see, you know, I guess, settle the, you know, have, have round three and see who, who wins that one.